Hello and a very warm welcome everyone. Today we'll be discussing about gender bias. Remember there was an episode of Shark Tank India where a husband wife team was pitching their business paradise. The entrepreneurs rejected a deal offered by Shark Piyush Bals. After the episode ended, while the husband seemed to receive praise for his negotiating skills and smile, the wife remarked that people started calling her rude, smug, manipulative and greedy. And also she was sent hate messages. This gender bias is that women may face professionally. Bias exists in everyone, in some form or the other. This is a result of years of conditioning. Because of this, Prejudice unintentionally influences decision without people even realizing it. Even when they try to be as rational as possible. One may think bias is loud and apparent and comes with ringing alarms. Under representation of women in a workplace or the C-suit or the outright wage differences. But biases can be quiet, lurking and subtle. There was a case where a male employee accidentally used his female colleague's signature on emails from a shared mailbox. He noticed that the client was being rude and dismissive to him over email. When he realized the mistake, he decided to do an experiment with his female colleague. They switched signatures for two weeks. The male colleague was having a tough time with customers, but the female colleague breezed through. This was shocking for the male colleague. On the other hand, the female colleague thought it was just the way work was. When women work and face subtle gender biases, this creates a negative impact on the overall output of a company, the labor force and also the economy. This also means women may not be prone to endorsing themselves for leadership positions. And those that do become women leaders are more likely to suffer from burnouts. Subtle gender biases could also entail assuming the males in a team project did a majority of the work, holding males and females to different standards, assuming females can only be good at soft skills and more. When hiring or promoting, people like to do that for people who look and act like them. As a women leader, one may be expected to exhibit behavior associated with their gender, like being warm, nurturing, affectionate and kind, but also supported to show leadership skills like assertiveness, confidence, and strength. Yet, when they show that assertiveness, they may be seen as rash and aggressive instead. The stereotype may be that a woman would have to give up her femininity to be a good leader amidst the bias that they may not be ambitious enough. According to a study, of females' ideas on proposals are more prone to be dismissed, interrupted, and silenced until being reaffirmed by a male. Their input may also not be valued as much. This may make how a woman views herself worse and make them not want to speak up in meetings for fear of being shut down or being seen as too controlling. This also kills career satisfaction, career success, poorer job performances and more stress levels. And if women do bring up that bias publicly, she may be called too sensitive or a woke snowflake. In 2019, in a U.S. congressional hearing, CEOs of many banks were asked whether their successor would be a woman or not. No CEO raised their hand. Some employers can legally require women to wear makeup as a part of workplace dress code. But the same adherence may not be asked of males. So how can subtle gender bias be overcome and removed from people's thinking? The first step here is to solve a problem that is acknowledging that there is one thing that could mean learning more about the experiences of females in a team or even female entrepreneurs for that matter. This would put up a spotlight on the lurking issues and biases that females face professionally on a daily to daily basis. This relevation can be a rock upon which solid change can be implemented. For the conversation to keep going, women workers and entrepreneurs should have a comfortable environment to report any gender biases. They may feel that they experience without worrying about backlash or ramifications. Ideas that can help business or communities as a whole needs to be embraced, irrespective of who it comes from. Also, don't forget to look at the way some words they may be gendered in the workplace. Chairman, businessman, manpower. If people are looking for chairman, businessmen, and manpower, doesn't this subtly create bias in their minds about preferring men over women? Does this create gendered expectations for who to hire and how people are assessed and promoted? 
or if a person is asked to think about a founder or an investment banker a majority of people will assume the imaginary professional to be male not female even if it's not a professional look at the business literature or even laws when they talk about a person they use the pronoun he it could sound silly to many but that's how pity and simple our minds could be when we are thinking while making rational decisions but maybe phrases like chairman businessman and labor force make it that bias and make people look at the broader set of people irrespective of gender if you notice someone's word actions or decisions stemming from some bias maybe you should casually talk about it and find out where it's coming from the recruitment process is one way that subtle gender biases could be overcome it could become more automated and include outputs and inputs that disregard gender There could be algorithms that completely ignore factors like gender or even something like prior titles, which more males may hold than females, and focus on experience, capabilities, and potential to succeed in the future. A 2018 report from the World Economic Forum outlines that at the current age of change, it would take 108 years to reach gender equality in the workplace, and after the COVID-19 pandemic, it would take an extra 36 years to close the global gender gap. but it doesn't have to be that way we don't have to move at the current rate of change we can speed up so let us know how do you think subtle gender biases can be eliminated from our country and the entire world subscribe like and share our channel for more such videos tada